Hi kids. Okay, camp. It is beyond the Valley of the Dolls. So we did Valley of the Dolls. Now it's beyond the Valley of the Dolls. These two films together are uh, a good example of sort of the breadth of what uh, camp can encompass, how you can land on camp. Uh, Valley of the Dolls is overwrought melodrama. Uh, this one is intentionally making fun of that overwrought melodrama. So this one directed by Russ Meyer, uh, who I mentioned, talked about in Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Uh, so, and the screenplay is by Roger Ebert. That's right, Ebert. Uh, story is by Ebert and Meyer. So uh, Valley Dolls comes out critically by people like Roger Ebert, uh, panned, but uh, box office success. Uh, it had a $4.7 million budget, and it made $50 million at the box office. So, wouldn't you know it, Fox wants to make a sequel. Uh, Jacqueline Susan, uh, who wrote the source novel for Valley of the Dolls, comes up with the title Beyond the Valley for the Dolls and she writes a treatment for it and it's pretty much uh, decided that everyone will return from the screenwriter to the director all the stars um, except of course um, Sharon Tate's part will be recast uh, because Sharon Tate was murdered by the Fan Manson family um, but um, for whatever reason, things fall through like they do, and the studio uh, decides to go another way. Um, so they hire Russ Meyer. Uh, Russ Meyer had just had his film Vixen come out in 1968. Um, it was an X-rated film. If you know Russ Meyer, well, you're shocked, I know. Uh, but it had a budget of $73,000. And it made eight million dollars at the box office. So, Richard Zanuck at Fox saw that, thought this is just what we want for our sequel to Valley of the Dolls. We just want something cheap that'll make money, cash in. So he hired Russ Meyer for that purpose to make a cheap picture. So, because they were already on a pre-announced timeline. Meyer and Ebert got to rush into things. They got to hurry because Fox has already said, hey, 18 months from now, this film is coming out. They got to go. They got to move. So they write quickly. Um, they write around uh, scenes around pre existing sets on the Fox lot to save money, just use stuff that's already there. Um, and they used Valley of the Dolls as the template for uh, the story structure for Beyond Valley of the Dolls. So they took all of those things and they wrote it. And how many times do you get a sequel to a film that is a parody of the original film? Because that's what they did. Uh, it was overwrought melodrama. People laughed at it. So they thought, okay, we're just going to steer into that and we're going to make this funny. We're going to make fun of our own film. Plus it's Russ Meyer, known for his exploitation films. So you put that in there and Meyer wanted it to have something to appeal to everybody, every young person that is. Uh, remember this is comes out in 1970. Hollywood is changing. That's how uh, only in 1970 could you have uh, Fox give the keys to a major production give it to Russ Meyer and first time screenwriter Roger Ebert. Um, yeah, and it was so much so the cast uh, wasn't sure uh, during filming if the dialogue was to be played serious or not. Russ Meyer directed it as if it was serious. Ebert was of the opinion that if you uh, let anyone know that it's a joke, it ruins the joke. So. There we are. Camp, Beyond the Valley of Dolls, a film 
that makes fun of the original film, Russ Meyer film, everything. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.